Hey guys, x Hunter Hunter here. I just wanted to show you guys my Yukio deck. Starting off with monsters. Here's Grave Grave Squirmer, really good card. Next is Sonic Chick, another good card. Grave Squirmer, when it's destroyed by battle, I can target one card in the foot and destroy that. So it's good for taking out cards like Master Hyperion and stuff. Sonic Chick's a really good card. Battle Theater, if I, um, I can special summon this from my hand, and, and that ends the, my opponent's battle phase. One of pop is really good. I flip it and I get to destroy one spell or trap card. I have two Shield Rings, extremely good cards. They can, they each take up to three hits before they're destroyed. So, like, I use them, and then I just destroy my other, my opponent's cards with the trap card I have. Here's Scar, Scar of Dark World. It's really good for taking out um dark all the Dark World cards from my deck to my hand, like Grand Tactician of Dark World. And this is the this card of the Grave by a card effect. I get to target one spell that trap card in the field and destroy that target. Here's Copy Gorilla of Dark World. He's a he's a really good card. It's the same thing as Grand, except he destroys a monster. Hold on. Here's Manny the Bug. Everyone knows, knows what Manny the Bug does. Here's Sangan, a really good card. Marshmallow. Marshmallow is really good. When it's when it's when it, when it gets picked up by an opponent's attack, that opponent take not takes a thousand points of damage. Here's Dragonly the Dark Spear. I don't use any tuners. I re I really just have him in here to have him in here. It's I use him for um, a spell card that I have, and also for summoning children, because I can tribute this uh, a dragon type Dragonity monster with to select a level for bringing the beast monster in my graveyard. So I so children in the graveyard tribute this card summons children. Here's Revenge Gate Keeper of Dark World with 2,100 attack I mean defense points. Which is really good. Here's Humanoid Slime with 2,000 defense points. Aquamador, 2,000 defense points. Stronghold Guardian. I have three of these. Basically, each for each time I discard one, a, one of my monsters gains 1,500 defense points until the end turn. So if my opponent attacks like my Aquamador, which has 2,000, and I have the all three of these cards in my hand, I can discard all three. And and then Aquamoto will not have four thousand five hundred defense points, which is really good. Here is New Daria. When it's destroyed by battle, it's into the graveyard. I get to target one monster on the foot and destroy that target. Really good. Here is Mystic Tomato. Awesome card. Um, I haven't really used it yet. When it's destroyed by battle, it's into the graveyard. I can stretch them in one dark monster with fifteen hundred attack points or less. For my deck and face of attack position, which is good for summoning Sangan. Here's Snipe Hunter. I roll a die. If it doesn't land on one or six, I get to tell you I get to just target one monster and destroy it. But you have to discard. Here's Elemental Hero Clayman, 2,000 defense points. Obsidian Dragon, 2,100 defense points. Headless Knight, Red Archery Girl, and Neo Aquamador, 3,000 defense points, and it's only a level six monster. This is first edition. I know it's messed up. So moving on to spells. Okay. Moving on to spells. Here's Dark World Lightning. I get to target one face down card on the field and destroy that that target. Then I have to discard one card. Here's Dark Eruption. Target one monster, target one Dark Monster with 1500 attack points, or less attack points in the graveyard, and add that to my hand. Good for a song on a Mystic Tomato. I have two Double Cyclones. If I have both of them in my hand, I use both of them at the same time, and then I, tar I make them target each other, which means, which means they're already going, so I can target two of my opponent's cards, with, and it's basically free. 
Through Smashing Ground, a really good card. Misfortune. I get to select one monster, one face-up monster my opponent controls. And fake damage to my opponent equal to my opponent's life points equal to half the original attack points of that monster. And I can't attack this 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 that this, the turn I activate this, but it's really good. Also cursed bill. When the, when the crit monster is destroyed and this card is sent to the graveyard, it fake damage to the player who goes to the equipped monster equal to to the monster's original defense points. It is really good. Now we're men of extermination. <clears throat> I target one face of magical trap card or remove it from play. If like say I have like trap hole and I target my trap hole, if me if me or my opponent has any other card by the title of trap hole, that is removed from play. Here's a ground collapse, really good. Base, I I can't I guess I kinda cheat with it. I block off two monster card zones my opponent controls and he can't use it. Here's the dark door. I like to um, get a strategy with Ground Collapse and the Dark Door, because the Dark Door, you can, each player can only attack with one monster, which is really good. Here's Card Destruction, which is really awesome. You, sh you should know what it does by now. Dark World Buildings, each player draws one card, and this card's one card. Here's Reload. All cards in my hand go back to my deck, and I shuffle and drop at the same amount of cards I had. Here's Cards of Continents. This is what I use Dragonity Dexter for. Discard one dragon type to no monster with a with a thousand uh, or less attack points and draw two cards, which is really good. Hold on. Huh. That's gonna mess me. Here's Monster Reincarnation. You know, discard one card to select one card in the graveyard. You know, discard one card to select to select one monster in the graveyard, add it to my hand. United we stand. This this was my favorite card as a kid. I remember I'm um, using it in the game on um, World Championships, and it was awesome. So yeah, here's Gateway to Dark World, pretty good card. Moving up the traps. <coughs> my traps. My, my opponents hate my traps. Start off with Trap Hole, and then Bottomless Trap Hole, Mirror Force, Torrential Tribute, Spellbinding Circle. Launch Defender, Castle Walls, Meteor Flare. If my opponent has over 3,000 life points, it, I can activate this card by, saying, by discarding two cards from my hand to the graveyard, while my opponent still has over 3,000 life points. He then takes 2,000 life damage to his life points. And if this card is in the graveyard, I can add it to my hand instead of conducting my normal draw phase. I have two Icarus attacks. Good for my shield rings when they're about to um, go to the graveyard. Dark Pride. It's better than Solemn just because I don't lose any life points. Here's Jar of Greed. I, it's like Pot of Greed except I just draw one card and it's a trap card. Oh, it's good for faking out my opponents because my opponent would do something and I'm like, I activate and he thinks of something that will, just, that will stop him. And I'm just drawing a card. The Transmigration Prophecy. Target two dark world target two cards in the graveyard. Shuffle the targets into the deck. Here's the forces of darkness. I get to target two dark world monsters in my graveyard and add those to my hand. Good for bringing my cocky and gun. Here's dark steam. Your opponent can discard one card to negate this card's effect. Otherwise, both players discard two cards and then draw two cards. That's it. So that's my deck. Yeah. So that's my deck. It's um, it's really a, a stall slash defense deck. It's really good. So yeah, bye.